<laughs> Welcome, Welcome everyone. Th- hello. <laughs> uh, no, th- uh, uh, thank you for that. Um, uh, hello, everyone, and welcome back to the fireplace. Um, more hot specifically, <laughs> more specifically, the hot spot. Um, and today we have an amazing, amazing guest. Um, please welcome to the show, Bethany Arrington. Heck. Yes! Oh, thank you. I'm welcome. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. Um, so glad to have you here. Uh, so, by means of, uh, well, you know what? First, please feel free to introduce yourself oh. um, to, to yeah, the what masses. What would you like to tell the people that you do? Hi, folks. Uh, I'm Bethany Arrington Beck of Bethany Arrington VoiceOvers, B-A-V-O. Mm-hmm. I am a voiceover talent working primarily in commercial work, e-learning, and a little bit of gaming. Um, mm-hmm. I've also been known to do an audiobook or two. Okay, okay. Um, but Spicy. I just, yeah, I would yeah. say nothing is off limits uh, voiceover-wise. I kind of do a little bit of everything. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, awesome. Uh, so, voiceover work. Um, mm-hmm. First off, yeah, this uh, is the first for the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Like, we don't, <laughs> the thing is, like, we definitely do not get a lot of... Um, uh, a lot of like voiceover, you know, people here, um, and what I'm curious about. Uh, well, let me let me backtrack. So, um, me and Bethany, well, actually, all three of us went to yeah. UIC, uh, and uh, me and Bethany, we trained underneath the. The uh, funny thing is, we all went to UIC, didn't meet in nope. at yeah, UIC. Didn't really. <laughs> yeah, as it took a while. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah, no, um, uh, absolutely, and uh, so. My thing is, well, my my main question is, yeah. what got you into, um, what got you into acting for one, okay. and the transition <laughs> from that to voiceover acting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. What does that mean? Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, your journey. My journey. Your journey. So I like I grew up in the church. I grew mm. up like in a mega church. Think like smoke, lasers, electric guitar, Jesus, <laughs> you know. Mm. Um, and so like church plays, like that was kind of the first. I did like little oh, church, same. like yeah. church skits, mm. like for kids first, and then for mm-hmm. adults. I was like mm. always the bratty teenager, not <laughs> obeying God. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. Um, mm. I am no longer affiliated with the church, as we will mm. soon, but no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, uh, just based on my potty mouth, my mom's going to be mm. real upset when she's it's, a, it's okay. <laughs> no. um, so sorry, I, Mom. Sorry, uh, Mom. Sorry, Laura. Um, no, so I started kind of doing the church play thing, mm-hmm. and I actually, m- several people, like so cliche, but several people came up to my mom and were like, mm-hmm. Look at her go. Like, she, she's just made to do this. So, like, you know, the little, like, school plays. And what, And I remember specifically in fourth grade, I got the lead in The Adventures of Lewis and Clark. I was not oh. Lewis or Clark, but I was the narrator. <laughs> <laughs> but I really wanted to be Sacagawea. <laughs> and I was really upset when I didn't get it. And the music teacher was like, I don't know how to explain this to a nine-year-old. <laughs> you That's a rough blonde idea. girl cannot yeah. play Wow. <laughs> Um, but the narrator had like the most lines and everything, and I don't know where I got this idea, mm-hmm. but I knew that professional actors memorized their lines. I don't know where I learned that, but I was in fourth grade and I memorized all of my lines, like mm. at ten. And my wow. parents were kind of like, "Okay." Mm-hmm. And I mean, I kind of like I always said I either wanted to be a veterinarian or an actor. Like, it was, mm-hmm. like, one of the two. Mm-hmm. And kind of by the time, honestly, by the time I was 15, I was like, I'm going to school for theater. I'm going mm-hmm. to school for acting. I'm getting my BFA in acting. Like, I was so laser-focused. Now, if we could awesome. rewind, I would say to teenage yeah. Bethany, you need to calm down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's not everything. Your BFA yeah. isn't everything. Yeah. <laughs> Frankly, it'll make you broke fucking artist. Yeah. That's what BFA, I, I, broke fucking I, artist. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, is the uh, acronym when we were in college was this badass, and then this bad fucking, fucking ass. ass. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. the BA broke BFA. fucking artist. Both fucking artists, which is Damn. what it got me initially. See, I got Damn. a BS, so I got some bullshit. You got some bullshit. <laughs> no, no. So, go to school, kids. Go to school. And, well, Take a liberal arts. Yeah, yeah. Go, go, go to school. Learn a trade. Learn a trade. Uh, yeah, no, we need more people yeah, in yeah. trade. No, um, 
That's so, now. So ended up at UIC due to scholarships, and I've uh, I have family in Illinois, so I fell in love with Chicago at a, at a young age. You know, mm-hmm. and that's that's the draw of UIC. I mean, yeah. your yeah. your You're college right experience is the city. Yeah. Like it's the city. Um, and that's hard to explain to people who went to like normal college. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I had heard about voiceover. Like I had heard that that's something people did, but it wasn't mm-hmm. anything really on my radar. It was really again, I was like laser focused. I want to be a theater actor. Mm-hmm. And then it became very apparent you make no money. Mm. <laughs> you make no money. Mm. And I was even working professionally, doing even like you know commercials and commercial modeling gigs and stuff. And broke, like mm. broke, broke, and ti- mm-hmm. I got really tired of being broke really, really fast. Yeah, um, it gets old. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know, I'm doing the day job and all mm-hmm. that, and there's no shame in that. But there, there was a fatigue in me that I just like, mm-hmm. I was so unhappy. I don't even think I understood how unhappy I was until mm-hmm. the pandemic hit, and mm-hmm. I had actually had. Um, I thought I had had my break. I had gotten a call back for Fargo season four. Ooh. They were like, this is this is it. I mean, the casting director was like, yeah, you're like, this is going to be you. I, we're so excited for you. This wow. will be your, you know, I'm like, this is my Netflix debut. This is my, you know, big whatever. Mm-hmm. And then the pandemic happened. They cut the scene. They stopped filming Fargo. They were like, we got it. You know, everything yeah, wrapped. Yeah. Yeah, and then definitely. all the, you know how you plan all your shows for a year, kind of when you're auditioning for theater, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. everything's gone. Mm. Yep. And so mm-hmm. I laid into my bed for two weeks, and then my mm. husband, and not then husband, but my husband, mm-hmm. um, after two weeks, he was like, I think you're mad. Mm-hmm. And what about voiceover? You've talked about it. You've like mm-hmm. done a little research. Like, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? And he's like, you have the time. Like, we were mm-hmm. so lucky that he didn't lose his job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that gave me the freedom to do some research. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm a researcher. Mm-hmm. And... I was like, you dabble in it too. (laughs) (laughs) And I was like, I think I can do this. Mm -hmm. And so I studied with a guy out in LA. His name is David H. Lawrence, the 17th. I love you, David. (laughs) Um, The 17th? The 17th. So with SAG, there were so many of them that he was just like, I'm the 17th. He (laughs) just like, I thought it was like a family lineage. No, no. They kept that up for that long. No, he's just hilarious. (laughs) We love that name. We love that name. No, so he was, he not only taught me like, like how to use my BFA, like my acting training to do voiceover, Mm -hmm. but he taught me the business and technology side. Mm -hmm. And then he also teaches mindset, which sounds really dumb, but there is like a level of, you think regular acting's tough, like competitive, voiceover, everybody wants to do it. Mm. Everybody wants to do it. Everyone wants to be on Bob's Burgers. They mm-hmm. want to be mm-hmm. on. Um, they they want to be. Oh God, uh, Uncharted. You know what I mean? They yeah. want yeah. to do the video games. They mm-hmm. want to. So it's competitive. Mm. And he was like, if you want to do this, you do need to have the mindset to go into it. And it's not even about like, oh, it's so competitive. I'm really tough. It's about mm-hmm. knowing what I do, what mm-hmm. I bring to the table, and being really confident in what mm-hmm. I bring to the table and that yeah. not everybody's going to like it. And mm-hmm. that's okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. So yeah. So wow. then I hit the ground running. Yeah. <laughs> First off, let's talk about genre. Mm-hmm. Um, what genre that is the one that you are like, man, this is, this is the one that I want to specialize in the most. I mean, I, obviously you do commercial, but like, yeah. is there one that you're like, no, this is like my favorite. Okay. I am actually the minority because mm. I truly do love commercial work. Oh, I oh, really, okay. Really, love oh, okay, okay. I, first of all, mm. it's fast, and I mm-hmm. love that. It's mm-hmm. fast. It's usually short, and um, there's a lot to play with, even in a thirty-second spot, even mm. fifteen seconds. Mm-hmm. Um, I find that uh, advertising has changed a lot, and even the past couple of years, mm-hmm. uh, the the emergence of influencers have Mm -hmm. really changed the advertising game. Mm -hmm. And it's not so much with voiceover, especially now, it's not so much as in a world, like (laughs) having that, what we think of the quintessential voiceover. Mm -hmm. It's about sounding truly human and Mm -hmm. like that the person speaking knows you. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I'm like, yeah, I'm girl next door. Yeah. I'm right down the street. Like, wow. I'm, I'm right, I'm, I'm going to tell you exactly <laughs> yeah, what's up, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what I really, really love about mm-hmm. commercial work. 
Wow. Um, I also, again, and now there's a lot of voice talent who would say, no, animation and gaming, I mean, you get to do more acting in mm. those roles. You mm. get to do, you know, obviously because it's closer to a play than mm-hmm. a commercial is. So mm-hmm. I totally get why people love it. I have done some gaming and animation work. I very much enjoy it. It's mm-hmm. just a really competitive field. It's a competitive yeah. genre. That's yep. the, I call it, so there's like low hanging fruit and tippy top mm-hmm. of the tree. Mm-hmm. And tippy top of the tree is that animation gaming, mm-hmm. Disney princess. You, we all know uh-huh. it. Yeah. We all know yeah. it, yeah. right? Um, but then there's a lot of um, things that people don't realize that mm-hmm. voiceover actors do. And one of the things I am most proud of is my e-learning slash corporate training stuff. Oh, yeah. oh. So these are the oh, things yeah. that like regular folk wouldn't hear, but I will get hired um, by a company. There is a branch of our armed services that uses mm. my voice for all their inclusion and sexual harassment training. Wow. And I am very, I am incredibly proud of yeah, that work. Yeah, I'm that's incredibly wonderful. proud of that work. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's uh, really fun too. I mean, yeah. you know, sexual harassment, not super fun to voice, I mean, but yeah. it's, it is, I come from a background of teachers, mm-hmm. so there is a natural inclination for me mm. in that in that way. I guess. Yeah. And you know what, actually speaking, coming from a, a background of teachers, this, uh, that I'm curious what the transition was like for you to go from, uh, you know, doing voice voice over, you know, acting and being like a student to mm-hmm. teaching it, oh, and yeah. uh, you know, I mean, and for those that don't know, again, uh, uh, Bethany also uh, teaches on uh, uh, voiceover acting as a coach. I got a class um, coming up too. Yeah. yeah. Yes. We'll, we'll, uh, be, we'll tell you. Well, that. yes. Um. So with that in mind. Where did that kind of, uh, where, what was the origin story with you wanting to um, teach it as opposed to, or, well, that and also, when did you feel uh, that level of confidence to say that, you know what, I can, I can pass this on to someone else? I didn't. Um, people oh. started coming to me and ah, they were like, you okay. should tell me how to do this. And I was like, no, I shouldn't. Um, but I talked, it was funny. I talked to my coach and uh-huh. I actually said to him, I was like, do you feel that it's appropriate for me? Basically, mm-hmm. that's what I said. And David H. Lawrence, the 17th, my wonderful coach out in LA, mm-hmm. um, he was really like, you know, Bethany, if you have people knocking on your door, why would you not open it? Why mm-hmm. would you not open the door? Mm-hmm. And and now he knows my personality very well too, mm-hmm. and I pride myself one of like the words like one of my words I would say about my voice and about mm-hmm. my brand, whatever you want to say. But mm-hmm. Bethany Arrington Peck is I would call myself approachable, mm-hmm. and I think that's a huge part of teaching, mm-hmm. especially in the arts. There is a lot of gatekeeping, mm-hmm. a lot of well, this is the elite, yeah. and they mm-hmm. even like the BFA versus BA versus BA, whatever mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Like there is a lot of gatekeeping, and I and in voiceover. The community is wonderful. Mm-hmm. I I love voiceover talent. Mm-hmm. I have not had a bad experience with other voiceover wow. talent. They are wonderful people. Um, but it, it's pretty tight-knit. It's pretty close-knit. Mm-hmm. And um, people have their favorite coaches. And you're kind of, mm-hmm. it's like, oh, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm a David crew. Like, he mm-hmm. and his, how he does things and how I do things. So that's how I teach people. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but I really did, I had enough people say to me, wow, this is working for you. How did Mm -hmm. you do it? And I realized I can explain exactly how I did it. I really do know my process. Mm -hmm. Now, I only know mine. So when I teach, I say, you need to adapt this for you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you the basics. I got your building blocks. I'm going to hand you the tools, then you build. Like, that's, interesting. yeah. That, and I I, I actually uh, find that very interesting because, like, I mean, there's, there are coaches out there who are like, I'm, you know, I'm going to be very nitpicky. And, yeah, and like I'm this is to, the process. This is the, this is the only process. Yeah, yeah. which yeah. is like no. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it's interesting how like sometimes that can actually deter someone from even wanting to absolutely continue pursuing like you know that type of career. So, uh, what would you say is your uh, your method uh, uh, for teaching uh, you know people who are curious about voiceovers like? I mean, which we'll get into this a little bit in a, just a little bit, yeah. but, um, like, what would you, what would you, how would you brand your, um, what's the term I'm looking for? Uh, how would you brand your teaching style? Your teaching like, style. Yeah. Yes. It's, yeah. it's actually the same as my artistic style. 
Mm-hmm. Keep it simple. Mm-hmm. Do not overcomplicate. Mm-hmm. There is a lot going, when you do voiceover, not only do you need to know the artistry of it, you need to know the tech, mm-hmm. because we are now fully recording from home studios. Mm-hmm. It is very mm-hmm. rare for people to book mm-hmm. Like Encanto students. was like fully home studio. Uh-huh. Yeah. Exa- exactly. Mm-hmm. And it's not going to go away because it's cheaper for everybody. Yep. Yeah. So you need to know your tech. Damn. That can be that is probably the biggest hurdle for most people. I am not a tech savvy person, mm-hmm. but the way my coach taught me, I know my I know my stuff. Mm-hmm. I know my stuff, and I'm always looking to learn. And I like I'm constantly mm-hmm. bu- bugging my sound engineer friends. Like, mm-hmm. well, tell me how you did that, and mm-hmm. I want to do. Will you do that for me? And then tell me how you did it so I can mm-hmm. do it next time. You know, stuff mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. And I'm a curious person, but that's the same thing with my teaching. I want to keep it simple. Because, again, there's this gatekeeping element of, like, ooh, smoke and mirrors, and all of a sudden I have a national commercial. And it's like, mm-hmm. yeah. no, no, this isn't, like, this, this also isn't, mm-hmm. we are not saving lives. Like, voiceover, <laughs> did, you know, we're not doctors, and we're not sending anybody to the moon. We literally are telling you about a discount at Costco. And I mean, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, we do not need to overcomplicate this. Because you know what, it, like, but you know what, though, at the same time, it seems like voiceover. Vo- people who do voiceovers are like a different breed. It's like y'all, y'all are like the mages of like actors. Cause it's like, it's like, it's like you. Ne- How can they go into a yeah. booth and act? And act. Well, yeah, it's but it's like, but you know what though? It's like, it's like these are the people who are, um, who you know create these characters that are iconic. They have iconic voices. Yeah. But you will, you, you can walk, you know, on the street and you would not recognize you know you wouldn't recognize them well and that's the other thing i want to say before Mm -hmm. i started doing voiceover professionally not a single person was like you have a great voice you should do voiceover wow nobody said that (laughs) and then i did voiceover and people were like of course you do voiceover i'm like no 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 where was this no that's not how it works no but i have i'll have students who are like Mm -hmm. i've been told i have a great voice so i should come in you know i should do this and i'm like "Uh uh-huh and then i have people who are like I don't know. I'm just really curious. Those are the people I really like. Oh, I actually yeah. like the people with, like, they have no expectation of themselves. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. it's actually, it's it's better to be more of a blank slate. It's, mm. it's easier mm. to, it's easier to learn new habits than unlearn old ones. Right? Yeah. We know this. Yeah. So, yeah. that's one of those things. Very, very <laughs> true. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, no, I was just about oh. to say that was, like, my, I taught math for a few years. Um, Mm -hmm. and like the same things, just like, okay, I have to make you unlearn all this bullshit from the public system and like Mm -hmm. have to learn how you learn and Mm -hmm. tailor it to you. Mm -hmm. And that's, I do a lot of that. Uh, My class sizes are small on purpose. And when I do my one-on-one coaching, that's probably like my favorite thing to do is, Mm -hmm. um, my one-on-one coaching. Mm -hmm. Because again, I'm tailoring to you, and yeah. I'm getting into the nit, the nitty gritty of your voice and your process. Exactly. Like for example, I had a, a a guy who wonderful voice, knew his stuff. His process was so complicated. He was like <laughs> editing and doing and this oh. and this, and uh, he was basically mastering his tracks. And he's like, uh. one audition takes me forty minutes, and I was like, no, <laughs> forty seconds. Like yeah. this is not okay you know yeah. but i was like oh this is your hurdle like real easy hurdle but i kind of mm-hmm. needed to know him if exactly, he had gone yeah. to another class they would have been like well i don't know like you're yeah. just you know yeah. oh fun fact though teachers teachers radio personalities and any kind of like mm, like fitness instructors and mm-hmm. stuff they're really um they have a, an, a special hurdle to overcome in voiceover because they have a cadence in how they talk oh <laughs> and they get wow. they get you you know, your teacher voice, mm-hmm. yeah. you yeah. have a rhythm. Mm-hmm. And in voiceover, you're basically disrupting your rhythms a lot of the time. You're trying not to get into too many patterns so mm-hmm. you're fresh every time when you come to it. So it's hilarious mm-hmm. because of people who have been in radio, I'm like, oh boy. No, it's just an extra <laughs> hurdle for them. Yeah. But it's something, yeah. it's, it's something I tell people, like if you're just interested in voiceover, the, f- the best first step you can do 
is start listening to yourself throughout the day. You don't even mm. have to record yourself, mm -hmm. but our voice goes through natural fluctuations, mm -hmm. morning versus evening versus lunchtime versus I just had a glass of milk versus I just had a glass of water, all those things. Mm -hmm. um, but also, I talk to my friends like this. I talk to my mom like this. I talk to my boss like this. Yeah. Yeah. These are the things. It's, it's just starting to observe. And mm. I, I tell that to my students all the time. Yeah. And I, I, I love that because, like, you know, like, some people, they, you know, they are very observant of what's happening with themselves and, yeah, yeah. you know, the world and everything like that. And others just like, I don't know, sound. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing sound. It all sound, you know. I definitely yeah. notice how different people sound. Well, I'm around you the most. And I know yeah. you change Octaves, who you're talking to, yeah. when you're talking to, yeah. like, my, actually, what my, you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> my, uh, actually, it's funny because, like, it's an inside joke that me and my mom uh, used to have about my grandma. Every time my grandma would call me, I would be like, hey, grandma, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> oh, and, and like, my mom would be like, <laughs> like, every time I get off, my mom would be like, what's wrong with you? Well, first she'd stare at me and I'm like, what? She's like, hey, grandma, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> what's going on? You're 25. I'm like, I, I miss my grandma. Help. Yeah. <laughs> And, and the thing is, and the thing is, my, <laughs> and the thing is though, like my grandma, she never called me out on it. But I think it's because she's like, oh, she's still a little baby Greg, you well, know. Well, and I like, I know it's weird for like a, a white girl to bring this up, but even like for my BIPOC folks, mm -hmm. code switching, mm. huge oh, thing yeah. to think about. Mm -hmm. Huge thing to think about. Um, I I actually talk about this a lot, a lot of the times, mm -hmm. like with. You can sometimes tell exactly who they're writing for, like in a commercial, mm -hmm. and if it's for a BIPOC person, mm -hmm. they'll like, for some reason, they're like, oh, slang, you know, or <laughs> contractions, like, and I'm like, this is really weird, oh, this slang. Is slang, and, you know, we still live in a world of these stereotypes, and it, mm -hmm. but it is actually something I tell my BIPOC students, like, notice, notice the code switching, no judgment. Mm -hmm. But notice it because you can use it to your advantage. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can do that in a commercial, and that is brilliant. Mm -hmm. You know, like there's there's a yeah. lot to d dive in there. You know, question, um, uh, because now like uh, just out of curiosity, so, yeah. um, are you the type of person who um, or artist who like you know you see something that's on uh, that's on paper that they want you to say, mm -hmm. um, like do you automatically go directly with what is being uh what what is being written or do you typically are like all right i'm gonna say this but i'm gonna add a little something mm. and so my i guess my ultimate question is is it better to make um better to make a choice and hope it sticks or to go strictly with what um has been written or with what direction they have yes given you so I'm going to answer this like it's a commercial copy because it mm -hmm. depends on the type of audition oh, sure. and mm -hmm. type like genre. Yeah. But I'm going to answer this like it's commercial copy. I will never change a word in commercial copy because mm -hmm. nine times out of ten, this has gone through like eight iterations plus mm -hmm. gone past legal. Mm -hmm. Le their legal department's gone over it plus the CEO plus blah, 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 all the people yeah. have seen it mm -hmm. and this sense. is and it's like every word has been hand picked mm -hmm. out. Oh, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> Um, no, if they say you can improv, sometimes I get like one take, do straight, and then the next take they'll say, feel free to improvise. That's what they'll like say. And then it's like, oh, okay. So mm -hmm. then your yeah. second take you get to, mm -hmm. I am, my coach taught me this and it's something I'm a big fan of is making a strong decision quickly and er, like urgently mm -hmm. and, um, right off the bat. Mm. So you are not sitting there hemming and hawing. Mm -hmm. You read, and for me, I read and I just go. Mm. I go. I'm an overthinker, so if I sit there, I can yeah. I'll, I yeah. can spend 20, 30 minutes on one word. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so it's really important, but you're right. Like, what you're asking is, it is very important to make a decision mm -hmm. and to be confident mm -hmm. in that decision. Mm -hmm. the, mo the best thing that I can tell people is, like, make the decision that's true to you. Mm. Yeah. Don't try to be what they're asking for mm -hmm. like a lot of the times they'll get commercial scripts and they'll like voices like and they'll like list off celebrities yeah. okay they'll be yeah. like Rashida I've Jones or Amy Poehler yeah. or Morgan Freeman you know mm -hmm. and you're and I I tell people ignore it 
ig- ignore mm-hmm. that's what they think they want and that's nice good for them mm-hmm. but you are I, I am Bethany Arrington Pat, I am Bethany Arrington I'm going to give the Bethany right because I'm like how the I'm hell are you supposed to like that I, I don't get that it's like how are you gonna how do you how's someone gonna be like hey um we want you to Morgan Freeman this and it's like <laughs> What? And that makes sense. And especially, like, I really hate when I see Morgan Freeman because I'm like, that's an extremely distinct voice. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, it, even for men, I'm like, that's yeah. not helpful. Mm-hmm. Now, a lot of the times what, they, what they're what they meaning, and I, I've actually go into this in my class a little bit, is they will list people and they'll be like, oh, um, a, if they have, like, Amy Poehler, Rashida Jones, Cecily Strong, mm-hmm. like, let's say they list those, I find the common denominator. All of them are funny women Mm. who have a little bit of differences in their voices. It's not a clean, mm. what you call a clean yeah. commercial mm. sound. They want a really human sound. That's what they're asking. Mm, right. That's what they're asking for. Now, if you get something like, we're thinking along the lines of dating Judy Dench or Helen Mirren or whatever, mm. you, like, or if they put somebody like Meryl Streep, ooh, mm, this like is going to be a serious sound. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. distinguished. This mm-hmm. is an elevated sound. Mm-hmm. You almost kind of, it's like a weird puzzle. Yeah, yeah. and you have like to read puzzle. between like the how notes. do these celebrities yeah. fit? And, yeah. But I'll, also at the same time, it's okay to be like, oh, I'm just not going to look at that. There's yeah. some days where I'm like, I'm not looking at that. I can't mm-hmm. do that right now. Mm-hmm. Like, I just, I'm not doing it. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So, that being said, uh, what would you say is your... Uh, um, we're going to get into the activities in a minute, everybody. It's okay. <laughs> but a um, uh, couple more questions. What would you say is your dream voiceover role? Uh, the one that, I mean, whether if it's for a franchise uh, or if it's like simply for something that maybe, you know, might be indie, um, mm-hmm. uh, something that, you know, you're working on yourself or, you know, just in general, what would you say is like your dream voiceover role? So I have like a lit, like I have like a list of, of things, mm-hmm. and I just knocked one off uh, last month. I really wanted to be the voice of a dog food brand. Don't get, I don't know. I just really wanted to. I oh, like, yeah. love dogs, and I was like, I want to be Pedigree. the voice of a. Dog. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I really, I wish I could tell you who it is, but I signed an NDA. So when it comes out, I'll send it to you. Awesome. Nice. Yeah. We get the scoops on. We get the yes. scoop. Yes. Uh, I um, I really really want to do a Nike or Under Armour ad. Mm. A national oh, yeah. Nike would be mm-hmm. like women in sport. That is like like <laughs> yeah. something like, oh, I really want to do one mm-hmm. of those. That's probably like uh, top, top, top. Mm-hmm. Um, but I will say, and it's like so cliche because I just told you that everybody wants to do gaming and animation. I would love to be a lead or principal in a game. Um, something yes. like uh, truly role playing I mean mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. kind of getting into it um, mm-hmm. I'm going to show that I don't know it but Alex mm-hmm. my husband played this game and the voice uh, that character's name I know is Ellie and she's oh the, Last of Us Last of Us Woo, you know, right? Last of Us oh I would love to work on anything <laughs> oh my god but uh, he seriously he stopped me from what I'm doing he was like will you just like listen to this like watch it with me mm-hmm. and I was like overcome with emotion mm-hmm. I was like this yeah. is incredible <laughs> Something like that. I mean, that's yeah. the that's the dream. Yeah. The dream. <laughs> yeah. And I would love to do like a. Um, I don't, my voice isn't high enough, but I would love to do a My Little Pony or something. <laughs> I would love to do. I want to be a pony. Yeah. I do. I like love that. I uh, would love that. All right, I so mean, My Little yeah, Pony. My, my Little Pony. pony. Uh, <laughs> Everyone my, knows yeah. my pitch for the next Avatar. Yes. Exactly. Uh, I mean, I'm cool with whatever. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Mortal Kombat, yeah, yeah, Happy yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, actually, I you know, fucking love that, Mortal those Kombat. Are, those are hard. Mm-hmm. Those are hard because you're doing so many reaction noises. Yeah. Grunts, um, screams, yells, those yeah, things. Yeah, that has to be insane. Very taxing vocally. You, um, yeah. A lot of voiceover artists have in their contracts when they take those things mm-hmm. that they do a whole day separate from their dialogue of just reactions. And they wow. usually have break days in between. They'll like schedule it, and you mm-hmm. kind of do. You need wow. that. I've done reactions for very few things, and it still was very vocally taxing. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. Actually, um, yeah. the voice actors in Dragon Ball Z, like whenever they had to do like the big transformations and stuff, yeah. they had to take the rest of that day. Like those I shoot days that. was like just that screen. Just that yeah. screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Man, and it's insane because like yeah. you're damaging. You're your damaging. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what your vocal cords are doing. That is 
Ouch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but you'd be great. Yeah, I, I mean, well, thank you. Uh, I mean, I, again, I would, I would love to, um, I would love to do, you know, things like that. Um, so, what we're going to jump into now, um, uh, as as some of you guys might know, uh, on our show we do activities, things that are just, you know, something to break the monotony of sitting in a chair most of the most of the interviews. So. Um, what we're going to do, uh, in this case, since we have a vocal expert here, <laughs> um, uh, we're first going to do, uh, voice acting for dummies. Um, <laughs> and, you know, primarily, this is basically just a very miniature, uh, workshop, um, in, you know, th just to uh, help us in getting the best vocal quality that me and Demetrius can possibly get um, yes. in our lives. Uh, so this is how to use your voice properly in life. I almost cleared my throat jokingly, but that would be but bad. But don't do that. <laughs> yeah. don't, it's bad for you. That. Yeah. Um, so that being said, uh, if you could give us some basic uh, warm-ups and exercises that we can use... <laughs> To make sure that our voices are <laughs> nice and resonant. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's a word. That, yeah, that's, I know. That's definitely really good. a word. <laughs> okay, wow. Well, yeah, I, I love I, that. Great. I am 0.1% smarter than I thought. There it is. Um, but yes, feel free. The, the, the floor is yours. The floor is mine. <laughs> so uh, the big thing with warming up the voice in general, for uh, those of you who are singers that always helps so singing any kind of honestly vocal you can get on youtube mm -hmm. my favorite actually is jacob school of music um i love them i i'm from indiana so indiana mm -hmm. university's jacob school of music they have a bunch of vocal warm-ups just on youtube mm -hmm, yeah. so if you just youtube is very helpful. youtube is do the do the YouTube. <laughs> do the YouTube. It is. It's really helpful. So you know, do, doing the me me mama moo, me me mama moo, me me mama moo, that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. But one of the things that I really like to do mm -hmm. is actually stretch my face. Ah. Uh, this. Yeah. A lot of times we think of the voice as in your throat. Mm -hmm. um, we know from our acting training yes. that mm -hmm. our breath actually goes all the way down to our pelvic floor, mm -hmm. and what we're really trying to do is breathe from that space, get as much room through here so that we have power and um, power, AKA air behind what we're doing. But I think a lot of people forget that these muscles mm -hmm. play a role in the sound that comes out. So I actually do this. <laughs> it's like, I do this with kids all, all the time, but when I used to nanny, but I do like sour grape face, like getting mm, pinch, 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 mm. and then surprise face. <gasps> And I mean, really, yeah, I'm getting it up. But then getting back to sour grape face, mm, I'm getting really big again. My contact almost fell out. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other big thing that a lot of people ha have trouble with is, and it's really common for those of us in front of Zoom to, to get jaw tension. Mm -hmm. So mis mis like a light massage of the jaw. I do mm -hmm. small circles. I did my makeup, so I don't want to do it. <laughs> but you can even get... Remember, get behind the ear. Yeah. Get behind the ear and go all the way down. And then sometimes I'll even do an open and close if you just, do you feel that? Uh -huh. Oh. Uh. That's a big one. Uh. That's a really good one. Uh. And then the I mean, other I thing. Have some tension back here. So right? No, <laughs> and it's real. And then I do a lot of tongue. Um, I'll do a cat cow with this actually, uh -huh. like the yoga cat cow. Uh -huh. Bringing it back, <sighs> you know. Sometimes I'll do, they call it like lion breath. Sometimes, but <sighs> that just like gets me awake here. The other big thing, again, because all of us are like on our phones in front of this, yeah, this crouched over is is making sure my truly <laughs> my one of my my best friends Steph <laughs> um, and my personal trainer. She is constantly telling me. Remember to roll shoulders up and mm -hmm. back and really think about stretching out. I mean, one of the best things to do is to be lightly here. And if you want a more intense stretch, you reach this hand out and you go uh -huh. up. Yeah. I actually like dynamic stretches, so I enjoy the movement of this. Mm -hmm. And doing the other side, you know, make sure you're even because that's a big thing. But stretching through the back of the neck down here. I mean, these are things that 
I can almost, I can hear tension in a voice. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the times people are like, oh, I'm nervous. But I think we hold tension in our body. Mm -hmm. And whether we realize it or not, I mean, it creeps into our vocal cords and Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's, that's Mm -hmm. probably the vocal health and tension for dummies. And and and, and, well, you know what? And, And I know like, so none of this was planned (laughs) like i didn't like say hey so uh what we're going to ask you is to do a vocal warm-up but um you're absolutely right uh uh, that was awesome um so now that we have a slight warm-up you know in our in our vocal velocities no um (laughs) uh what we're going to do is some impressions uh now (laughs) The thing is, is I know, D, you're not as comfortable with impressions. <laughs> um, honestly, I'm not that most uncomfortable. I'm terrible. You're, at yeah. <laughs> you're good at some impressions. Some. Me. Um, yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> so what we're going to do is, um, actually, D, if you could grab my computer over there. What we're going to do uh, is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to look up uh, some characters, all right? Um, and what we're going to do is just say phrases Mm -hmm. and the other two have to guess what those, uh, uh, who, who, what that impression is. Um, they're probably going to be like pop culture type references. Um, so they're a little bit more popular, but, um, and if they don't get it after, I guess maybe like a minute, (laughs) you know, (laughs) after a while, then we'll, you know, then. I, don't, I mean, we're not keeping points. This is about. I mean, is, I am. <laughs> Someone will be kicked out. Someone will be kicked out, and it will be my it's stream. <laughs> um, I will. Yes. I will say one thing. I think you, because this is a voiceover thing, mm-hmm. you are absolutely, absolutely allowed to use gestures. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. I think a lot of people think that you literally just like stand behind a mic and do voiceover. Oh yeah. Yeah. I move. There's a reason the I have a boom. Mm-hmm. It's so yeah. I can move <laughs> stuff around. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the time, I think uh, uh, one of the biggest hurdles people get is they're like in front of the mic, and so they make themselves yeah. small because yeah. this is the mic, and they're like, okay, now I'm gonna do my commercial. Use that whole exclusive. space. No, we <laughs> use and we use our bodies every day. Why wouldn't we yeah. when we do voiceover? Like even when I'm singing, like I'm performing. Yeah, you like, gotta give mm-hmm. it. You gotta give like, it. Mm-hmm. Get the uh, whole thing. <laughs> So I'll, I'm also, I'm like truly terrible about impressions. And I think that's the other <laughs> thing about voiceover. People think like, a lot of people who aren't voiceover think, oh, like, so you do voices. I, oh, I constantly right. hear like, do you do voices? Mm. And I'm like, we all have different voices, but no, I am not yeah. very good at imp- Like even someone, um, what's her name? Tara Strong? Yeah. Uh, who, whose voice like literally every character. Can do everything. She <laughs> but is... like that's, but like her voice doesn't really change. No. Like, it's, no. that's just her voice. That's, and she's she... just voiced every character you've ever seen. And I, oh God, I would love to like sit, obviously I think we'd all love to sit down with her, but one of the things I really appreciate about her is she's never trying to be anything other than what she does. Yeah. What she does well. Yeah. And there is something to be said about Doing you and doing you well. Mm-hmm. And I think she's a great example of that. Yeah. Okay. What you got? So, I have the 100 most iconic fictional characters. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, so, the thing is, um, well, for one, one of the, the, the harder things about impressions is that um, sometimes the... <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, sometimes it's because the actual voice in itself... It's not like that distinct. So, yeah. um, you know, typically, you know, if you if you do need to, again, like you said, move around, um, and ultimately, like sometimes you have to like listen to the voice in advance to kind of get an idea before you uh, do that impression. I know that helps me a lot of times. Uh, you know, if just randomly, I'm like, man, I really want to sound like. Mikey from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Let me yeah, look at an episode. And again, then, do the YouTube. Yeah, yeah, do the YouTube. Do the YouTube. Um, uh, my but new phrase, apparently. No, no, like that's awesome. Hashtag do the YouTube. Do the YouTube. Uh, <laughs> BTY. BTY. <Yeah. laughs> wow. Um, but uh, you know, so I say that to say that some of the characters in here that I'm looking at, um, 
they it's gonna be hard to find oh, out boy. their uh okay. their their voice but um and the thing is because of that that i think we can allow if there is some type of hint oh, in yeah. what you say okay. to assist that's totally fine right. uh but start okay. off real generic. Though. But definitely start off generic, you know, like, I want pie. It's like, well, who is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that supposed to be? Okay, so, um, and, you know, since since we're springing this on you. Yeah, I'm um, going to do it too. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you guys were going to do it, and I'm going to, yes. Oh, no, okay. okay. Uh, no, you know, you know what, you know, you know what, you know what, let, well, this is what I'm saying. We we'll do, do the first. Yeah, yeah. We'll do the first uh, round. Because obviously then... I'm really shy. So. Well, no, like, <laughs> uh, we'll do the first round, and if you feel inclined, <laughs> uh, if you feel inclined to jump in, you're more than welcome okay. to, Okay. All right, so um, I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. All right, I'm not gonna move the mouse and where is it at? Oh my god! Also, you know I don't know any. I don't know anyone. Uh, I have no friends. But you know what? But you know what? We'll we'll do our. Go ahead. I'll I'll give my best. I watch like three shows. One of which is RuPaul's Drag Race. Okay. Oh, this voice is all over the place. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, now you're nervous. I try to, I try to figure out oh, how to... I really want a donut. Was that Joe? Oh, is it Kronk? No, oh. Kronk is my spinach pop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, let me just... Who eats okay. It sounds like the oh. same voice. Oh, oh, are you Homer? <laughs> yes. Homer oh, boy. Simpson? Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> I, I, to I had to start. The <laughs> thing is, it's like, I, like, I wanted to... Oh, boy. The thing is, is I want to go on. <laughs> the thing is, is, I just, like, the thing is, like, I, 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 I wasn't thinking that. Better. I wasn't, I wasn't think. I wasn't, like... I don't know. I just, I, it was a, a warm up round. Do you want to hear round. the only person that only person that I can impersonate? Do you want to hear that one really quick? Yeah. yeah and you can guess. Go for it. Oh, blue. <laughs> of course. It's Isn't awesome. it good? It is a good. So I had like Blue's Clues was like my favorite show oh, for yeah. a time, and yeah. I had this blue doll oh, yeah. that I would carry around and just make him say that all the time. <laughs> or her. Sure I think parents, it's her. Yeah. Parents love that. <laughs> Oh, of course. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut the damn thing up. Shut up. We put it in the washing machine. Sorry, All right. Okay. All right. Feel so. free to just like, um, if you wanna, if Is you like a random number generator. Actually, I can pull one up. Yeah. Go ahead. Random number. All right, let's see. Who is that? All right. Oh, man. Don't know who the hell that is. <laughs> All right. I mean, number. if you want to, I would say, if you want to just Pick scroll somebody. till you find someone that you think you can do. <laughs> okay. Go for it. What the hell does he even sound like? Mm -hmm. Does he speak? And you know what? I'll take the Wait, laptop. hold on. Oh, okay. Because I don't think I can, I don't think he speaks. I mean, you can go off of mannerisms because sound in itself the sound is, is its in, own yeah, yeah. thing. You just talk all about else. reactions, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see. Mm. Okay, I don't want to say the obvious line. Okay. So. I'm going to go to the kitchen. And drink some milk. Any idea? <laughs> Leonidas? <laughs> I shall go to the kitchen and drink some milk. I have no idea. Give us the obvious one. All right. You shall not. Oh. Pass. oh. Dumbledore. <laughs> <laughs> We just 
sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> they're all okay. follow us. They're all follow us. I'm sorry. Uh, well, we're down to zero. So yeah. we have uh, phone no ourselves. <laughs> wow. Okay, Gandalf. Gotcha. Okay, gotcha. All right, all right, all right. Um, okay, random number generator. Do you do any celebrities, Greg, that you're really good at? Or just like good at like you pull them out of the party or whatever. Uh, I mean, I could. Uh, sure, I can give you a couple of ones that yeah, I yeah, give me may one. be good at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, it's not entirely like the worst thing, but I'd sort of kind of try to do, uh, Joe Swanson from time to time. It started off a little Will Smith. Oh, I see. I was like, that's Barack. I thought that was like Will. Oh, if you I'm just changed, on it, but actually, if you just changed the cadence, that's actually mm. Barack Obama. Like that is too. Merk. Uh, Merk. <laughs> I, I bet. Yeah, yeah. You're watching. Come like I, I, I have to listen to Barack Obama's. Yeah, uh, but you could sound totally a do that more. one. Yeah. Um. Uh. Ooh. Um, I don't know how I want to do this one. Well, there's kind of a, there's, there's a couple of different it's characters that can do <laughs> Well, I mean, I know, like, you can do, you know, kind of different types. I mean, of course there's Stitch, but I feel like this also is a, um, there's a different kind of, there's a couple of different characters with this type of voice, actually. Who knows? Like, there, I mean, obviously there's Stitch, but... There's there's another one that I can't remember the name. Um, they might be the Rick and Morty. You're kind of slipping into Elmo now. <laughs> it's like if no. Elmo and Stitch uh, like. <laughs> I can't do Elmo. I'm not very good at it. Elmo's right. It takes a little while for me to get the Elmo. Well, one, it's, but it's hard on your take. voice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I don't know how that man gets... does it. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's fun. Oh, I. The Mickey Mouse one is a little further up. It's kind of weird. It's pretty pretty high up there. Oh, go (laughs) dig it. Gorge. (laughs) Gorge. (laughs) Gorge. That's like who you are in real life. (laughs) Actually, that's weird. Just kidding, long ears. A dog walking a dog. Yes. No, Still um, don't understand. Okay. <laughs> moving um, on. We're moving I, I, on. No, fair enough. Um, I, I want to... See, the thing is, is like... A lot of voices that I... Like, that I've like heard and been like, Oh man, I would love to do an impression of. They just... They just sound like themselves. So it's hard for me to be like, Man, it's such an iconic voice that I can replicate. Because... Anytime I do a voiceover, or not voiceover, anytime I do an impression, mm-hmm. it just sounds like me doing an doing impression. Doing an impression. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, At least, it's, yeah. Well, yeah. is different. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. But, I mean, sometimes, like, when, like. I mean, some people can, like, do it. But I feel like that's rare and rare. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, yeah, I know that. And I guess that's fair. But, um, like, I, these, these are just ones I don't. Uh, like, <laughs> I haven't done my passion in a while. Uh, <laughs> in a long time, this is more that like a... That sounds more like Southern Baptist Yeah, church. it does sound like the Southern Baptist Church. I am blessed. I, I am blessed. Actually, you know no, what? I, I am, can't. what is it? I am blessed. I am Heidi and Claus did. I've watched RuPaul before I came here. Oh, um, yeah. one of the is I am favored and I am blessed. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm blessed highly and favored. Fav- and highly favored. <laughs> oh, I love Southern Baptist. Actually, you know what? Um, this was actually one of the things that I wanted to try Accent. is accents. Um, so how about uh, we shoot or you shoot us an accent okay. that you would like us to try? We give you our uh, our best attempt. Okay. You give us a note on how we could possibly correct it, because it's not going to be... <laughs> well, and I will say, I am no accent accent expert, mm-hmm. um, but I do a little. You know, yeah, I'm no, that's fair. Let's, let's and, hear your you know, Southern Baptist and... first. That's <laughs> what we got to hear first. I mean, that's just me talking. Yeah. <laughs> Take me to church. Here we go. 
Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Actually, we have a thing on Twitch called Take, yeah. us, take us to Church. <gasps> really? Yeah. In yeah. which we have to speak as like a, a full preacher. Southern Baptist yeah. preacher. All right, on let's whatever go. Topic. Let's do it. I want to hear it. Well, right. you now first. we need a topic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, church. It's church. We, it's it's church. It's, 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 it's Sunday it's church. <laughs> All right. My Southern Baptist Ooh. says that she's a little more demure. Mm. Um, <laughs> so she has a tendency to be quiet lately. But mm. if she gets real mad, she gets a little more backwoods. You mm. know what I'm saying? Mm. Now I'll tell you about the backwoods. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now when God speaks, uh, he says he's the almighty. almighty. He says, oh, ain't no backwoods. Amen. Ain't no Amen. backwoods. We're going yeah. to the front woods. <laughs> We're going to the front woods. <laughs> hey. That's where Jesus the is. Front That's where Jesus is. <laughs> All right, so uh, I want to hear German accent. Oh, German. 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 Come on, try it. Jodenheim. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That? I'm just kidding. Sweden. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, ooh. I don't want to confuse German with Russian. Well, it's fun. <laughs> That's part of the fun of this. <sighs> Has that sentence ever been uttered? I don't want to confuse German with Russian. Mine. Well, you don't have to speak uh, the language. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, I had a call. Yeah. I had a call with a client, and one of the people on the call, she was super German, and I, <laughs> I about lost it. It was a regular commercial one, but she was that a German stuff. She, she told me I was super cool, and she, it was like that's the most German thing you could have wow. said. Like she was hilarious, but she truly wow. sounds like a German woman. Wow, I loved her. Your that's amazing. Wow, yeah, so super funny. That is quite amazing. I, I am very surprised that you were able to jump in. Those are accents so well. So well. That's like a little sweet. I feel like it's going to be a little. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, it's it's a vaguely do, European. Okay, so we know that Wakanda is based on several African countries, mm -hmm. right? And the even the accent, the Wakandan accent, is like a hodgepodge. I yeah. know for sure, like Zulu language mm. has influenced that. Can you guys do any kind of Wakanda, like Black Panther accent? Um. I cannot. I also don't think it's appropriate for me. <laughs> but, um, there has been many different... No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. There has been many different times where I've tried to Ooh, do yeah. different types of um, of accents. It sounds Ooh, slightly yeah. a little bit more um, Indian. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. You uh, slip uh, into but, a little bit. Uh, I mean, the, the, biggest, the biggest one that I uh, typically like to do is... Uh, this this is the one that I learned a little bit. Uh, it was a Barbadian uh, accent that I studied actually at UIC. Yeah. Um, it's very Nairobi. I'm getting Kenyan, mm -hmm, but Nairobi mm -hmm. specifically. That's super interesting. Uh, I love it. Uh, do the YouTube. Do it the YouTube. Do it the YouTube. Oh, I went Jamaican actually. <laughs> <laughs> I slipped fully into Jamaican. <laughs> I think my, I I think me uh, my favorite accent to try is. Uh, <laughs> I love the. <laughs> what are you about to do, Greg? Oh, well. I love the uh, the lower class English voice. That's a little more. Oh, it's not as yeah, it's very Cockney. Yeah, it's very. You're like Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Poppins. Hello, Poppins. Oh, like, boss, Jane Timbers. <laughs> Who's Timbers? Okay. <laughs> We've gone off the rails. Yeah, this is terrifying. <laughs> this is terrifying. Girl. I feel like you're just yelling at me. Thanks for screaming. Okay, no to Give me. May I have a power play? Accents are not screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to be loud. I'm just going to be loud and shake my arm. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, that was great. Yeah. So I feel like that segment went really well. No, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. We're, we're oh, yeah. We're, we're recording. Hire me immediately. No. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we are professionals. Um, oh, yeah. Obviously doing tons and tons of impressions. But, uh, okay. Um, actually, I'm still curious. Oh, you want to do more characters? Yeah. Although, ooh, actually see one that I'm, I used to do this as a kid. All right. 
I feel like I was better at impressions as a kid. Or maybe yeah. I'm just dumb. No, you, we <laughs> have less speech patterns as children. Mm-hmm. And we're more apt to play without judgment. And True. that is part of the reason. Seriously, I like tell people it's like the biggest hurdle like mentally with voiceover is not judging your voice and mm-hmm. being comfortable with whatever. I know so many people are like, I just can't stand, I can't listen to my voicemail, I just can't, that, having the headphones on, da, da, da. and I'm like, it's about getting comfortable with what mm-hmm. it is and having no judgment about it. Mm-hmm. There's no judgment. Mm-hmm. It's your voice. It's like, it's like it's like your shoe size. You know what I mean? Yeah, There's right. nothing you can do about it. So you right. just observe it and you're not, like you're not an eight trying to shove your foot into a six. <laughs> uh-huh. So it's yeah. kind of, it's the same with voiceover. It's like, I'm not Morgan Freeman, why would I sit here and be sad that I don't sound like Morgan yeah. Freeman? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Though it would be very easy to do that. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there actually is a voice that I love. Okay. Um, Alright. <clears throat> I really want to go and get a sandwich. Ooh, the Grinch! Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what yeah. should I wear? <laughs> <laughs> Dinner with me again, like catch one. <laughs> I'm not a good Grinch. I just Seven thirty <laughs> and world hunger. Tell no one. No one. one. <laughs> <laughs> tell no one. Uh, Ooh, Jim Carrey is very interesting because he has incredible facial muscles. Mm, like yeah. right, he is, and that it, like I've said, like warming up your actual facial mu- facial muscles is really important. And he's such a good example of like using all, like even like um, I I watched Ace Ventura: Pet Detective mm. for oh, the yeah. first time like fairly recently, wow. and I was like, oh my gosh, vocally he is so all over the place because his body yeah. can like accommodate it, <laughs> yeah. which is super cool. Yeah. he's great. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, he's, he's uh, very much yeah. a full body. Yeah. He's a full body actor, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Yeah, I mean, there's people who like they're able to like go from one one very distinct type of like um uh vocal range to a completely different one like on the spot like those like those videos that you see on youtube of like people who are like hi i'm gonna do 100 in like 30 seconds it's uh uh, it's crazy um okay i want to do at least like two more and then we'll jump into the next activity uh all right so would you I'll yeah. I mean I'll keep giving it a shot. Yeah, (laughs) go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Normally I actually would have preferred that we all are like up and doing them. But I'm like I feel like it was such it'd be so it'd be so telling. So since this is all voice and vocaling. You know that. Voice and vocaling. Sorry, I'm like looking for this. Go ahead, go for it, go for it. Meantime, listen, listen to the ASMR. That <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> really curious what. Also, is. another problem is I don't know what anyone sounds like. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wanna go for it? All right. Okay, he's got one. All right. Oh, this is going to sound like any Anybody? protagonist, though. <laughs> hey, you're being bad right now, and I'm going to catch you. You're I'm going right. to catch you. It's like a really good, <laughs> yeah. ge- like, generic protagonist voice, yeah. though. Mm-hmm. Like, it's really good. Mm-hmm. I just have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> you're too slow. Aww. I run real fast, and I'm blue. Sonic. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, like very old school. Yeah, Sonic. Old school. Yeah. I was gonna say, yeah. like, I just saw a preview for the new one, and it's what's oh, his face. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, which is hilarious. Yeah. But. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Wow. And why is it that for some reason that pushing <laughs> is so emblematic of that kind of character? Yeah. Well, I I don't know. And really, what it's doing is you're literally just like pushing the the air up to the top of your your palate, mm-hmm. and you're also kind of crunching down on your yeah. voice box. Yeah. I don't know, and it's a very specific rhythm. Yeah, oh. yeah, it's very very nice. I was, I, was, yeah. Yeah. I was like enamored because you were like that was good. Oh, thanks. Yeah, 
Like, yeah, like yeah, that. Was... Yeah, that voice is like every protagonist. Every, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was really I mean, popular. Yeah. Like, right, like right now, um, uh, I'm finding like when I'm listening, um, mm-hmm. to a lot of like games. I I do I I. I do a lot of like game commercials. That sounds kind mm-hmm. of funny. Like, mm-hmm. or like pitch even. Like, there's like, oh, we need this for a Kickstarter, and will you just do the voiceover? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Another like, a lot of people are really liking. I call it like the the knockoff Alexa slash Siri voice. <laughs> they want something that sounds like a robot, but real. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so, in a in a kingdom far away. We find ourselves on the island of, you know, it's like yeah. they really want that kind of like it's it's the generic robot voice, but it's still mysterious. <laughs> oh. That's a good, that's one. And then the, a lot of people are like little kid voices with rasps. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good rasp. one. <laughs> oh yeah, like they want that. And this is that's really hard on my voice that yeah. I do it fairly often, mm. and I have to do it in the mornings because I'm like, or at the end of the day when I'm already tired. Yeah. I'm, yeah. That, just get like, that rasp. Getting that voice. Oh yeah. Like and you're just it's. Just also, it, it like I know. Yeah. yeah, I definitely know. Like one thing is that when you do voices, sometimes like. Finding phrases that helps you get into absolutely, that. I call them like lock-in phrases. Mm-hmm. It's like I, I do them with accents too. There mm-hmm. are certain accents that I've done where I'm like, I have a phrase that helps me remember it, mm-hmm. yeah. and I'm like, okay, that's the phrase I repeat a couple times, and I'm I've popped myself in. And it's the same thing like when you're voicing multiple characters for like a cartoon or game or something. A lot of the times you do kind of have to pick like one of the lines, mm-hmm. and that's your go-to line, so you remember. That's what mm-hmm. this person sounds like. Okay, say that line. Now go into the actual line mm-hmm. that you need to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's brilliant. Good one. No, yeah. that's brilliant. Um, that's good one. Uh, okay, I'll do one more, and then we'll jump into uh, our next activity. Pick your poison. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm not doing that one. Uh, <laughs> some of these are like, how? Oh. Okay. How big are you on like OG anime? Oh, well, <laughs> but maybe uh, D will have known. Okay. Well, just do it anyway. You're gonna get it. Like that's in, fine. Oh, you probably saw the same name that I saw there. Do it. Just do it. <laughs> okay, but I'm not gonna do the American version. I'm gonna do the Japanese version. <gasps> Whoa. All right. Um, oh, I already know what this is. Of course is. you know. Well, do it for the. Game. All right. Oh, of course. Do of it course. for the gram. All right. Okay. It's Goku. It's the main character. Goku. Okay. All right. Wow. His is that high? Yeah. In Japan, um, he's um, a lot of them are voiced by women, actually. Oh, I believe that. Yeah. Yeah. I think only recently they started like having male characters actually voiced by males. I don't know Mm. what the culture of that is. I wonder what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Real interesting. That's got to be its own kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. Mm. Um. Yeah. So that happened. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Beautiful. Yay. Uh, it's it was so weird watching that show and hearing that <laughs> high pitch voice. But um. Uh. Okay. So uh, the next activity that we have on our list. Um. You guys on IG won't be able to see this. Uh. But. Sorry. Um. <laughs> but uh, just m- meld it over. It's all right. It's all right. You'll be fine. Um. For watch you the guys, video when it comes out. Yes, <laughs> watch the video when it comes out. It'll be on YouTube uh, as well as on Twitch. Um, for you guys, though, uh, we are going to be dubbing over OG, like, black and white film no. scenes. Okay. Um, completely improvised. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> Important skill. Im- important skill. Important skill for what? Um, so what we're going to do is um, yep. we're going to go on YouTube... Just so you guys know that none of this was planned, uh, we're going to go on YouTube, uh, and we're going to actually, um, so what am I searching? Yeah, uh, you can just search film noir, um, three 
person scene. Yes. <laughs> and odds are something's gonna pop up. And actually, uh, I have I have another idea as well for something to dub over. Um, we're gonna do a film noir, but well, actually, I've seen like every film noir film. <laughs> Uh, so I yeah. know these. So we're gonna do a, we're gonna do one film noir, but we're also going to do a couple of very popular uh, uh, pop culture scenes and movies. Oh, I love uh, that. I love so that. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna do that. Actually, and you can do double indemnity. In, indemnity. In, indem- indemnity. Indemnity. I love this one. I love film noir. Fun fact about me. I even learned about it for a role mm-hmm. I did. Yeah, I took a class on it. Uh, oh wow! College. Well, it was like film noir plus horror plus women's studies. It was weird, but <laughs> but you, <laughs> you were said there. that a little bit Boston. <laughs> yeah. You like it was a film noir. <laughs> <laughs> I said, said a film noir accent. <laughs> <laughs> she. <laughs> okay. All right, and uh, it's pretty much whose line rules. So like, whoever you yeah. see, you just jump in and voice for. All right. Alrighty. Let me set it up on here. Okay, so he's. <laughs> and. Oh man. <laughs> we are starting. Wait, let me let me make sure the mic Wait, is who's on. Who's calling the first guy? Uh. Well, you I... spoke first, so it's you. Okay. No. <laughs> Martha, I don't trust you anymore. Why do you don't trust me? I'm closing the door. Let me in right now. Okay, well, just make sure you take your hat off. Yep, hey, take your hat off. What's that? Well, hello, everyone. Oh, my God, she's beautiful. Well, I guess I will take my hat off now. (laughs) Well, thank you for taking your hat off for me, sir. Why don't you come to... (laughs) (laughs) I'm looking down at you. And I like what I see. Thank goodness, that's why I took this hat off. <laughs> Honestly, you look beautiful. I don't know your name, but I can't wait to learn it. Well, I'm glad I got to see the top of your head. Now, if you come upstairs, I can show you something different. Oh, I would love that. But first, I think you should come down here and take a look at my hat up close. No, you go up here and, I, and bring your hat upstairs, and we can both use it sometime. I'll be waiting. What do you think? Martha? Look at me! <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I'm glad I took my hat off. I guess I'll put it down here. Take a look around while the dame comes downstairs. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, what do we have here? Hat stand? Nope. <laughs> ah, photos without hats. Who are these people? Barbarians? <laughs> Oh, is there a hat stand over here? Nope. <laughs> I wonder if he'll ever come upstairs. <laughs> the hat rack is back here. Yeah. <laughs> He's, been the down. Rack. <laughs> He's been down there for so long. Too long. <laughs> and here I come oh, wait. downstairs. Clip-clop. 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 Well, since you kept a dame waiting all this time, I've decided to come downstairs anyways. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to fix my hair. Can you help me with that, sir? The hat rack is still back here. <laughs> you don't need to fix your hair. All you need is a hat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, go, I'll concede and go get my hat. Huh. Well, since you're interested in hats, I'm going to bring my portfolio over. <laughs> All right, I'll listen to your pitch for hats. Tell me everything about hats. Well... Is he, is he talking again? Uh, yeah. Well, you see, he's got, we've got the bowler. We've got the, not the bowler. We've got mm-hmm. the wide brim. Mm-hmm. We got All the right. cowboy. Mm-hmm. I hear you. We've got the feather hat. I'm listening. We've got the bow constrictor uh-huh. hat. We've got a, a fedora. I'm sure you do. <laughs> we've got a special hat for bowling. I bet there are. <laughs> I'm surely listening to every word you're saying to me right now. Well, it doesn't look like you are. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just have so I I just, I came here for something else. <laughs> and you're all about this hat business, and I just I want I I wanted something more, you know. 
something. I see. <laughs> you need a hat and a purse. I see. I wanted to be the one to sit upon your head. What? Now look here. A muff is not one of the hat. You need a hat and a bag to match. I understand women. <laughs> well, if you understood women, you'd look at my l- l- glossy lips. <laughs> I see. There's no hats on. <laughs> but that's all right. You're a beautiful dame. <laughs> well, I will excuse myself now, as this conversation has gone way left. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here. If you don't buy a fucking hat... <laughs> I'm going to kill your housekeeper. <laughs> now, you leave your hands off poor Dorothy. <laughs> She's not wearing a hat. I don't have to do anything. You leave that woman alone. She's a good woman. And I'm still talking. She <laughs> I think. Looks like she wore a hat. <laughs> have a good day now. Well, you too. You leave my home. Or go over that way. Yeah, you leave my home. Got my hat. <laughs> Now, I will say that uh, the hat on. is pretty nice, I must admit. Uh, good day. I wh- said, wh- hold on. Wait, I hat. said good day. I need a hat. <laughs> oh. Oh, I love a good Wow. Yeah. I'll be right back. Yeah, for sure. Wow. <laughs> wow. That, that. Wow. That was fantastic. Yeah, that was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna load up the next video. Oh yeah, is it still film noir? Or? Uh, this time, let's make it. Um, let me see. All right, <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna do Spider Man, just the first one. Okay. Um, and it's gonna be the Flash Thompson scene. Okay. Oop, not Flash. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, oh my oh god. My. This Sorry, is... I drank the tea and my water. No, you're fine. You're fine. I'm fully hydrated. All right. All right. All right. Here is our next one here. All right. Places, people. <sighs> hmm. Oh, this fork is magnetic or something? I wonder if anyone sees this. What is this in my wrist? It. <laughs> oh! Oh! Uh, that's not supposed to happen. Uh, oh, no, 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 Uh, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh no. Clunk it, clunk it. Oh man, what is this on my wrist? I cleaned that up this morning. Combination. My eyes! Who's gonna take it? Spit. <laughs> COVID. COVID. Punch. Whoa! Hello, friend. Listen here, you, you wimpy hey, boy. Hey, what's going on out here? You are the wimpy boy who threw. Come on, leave Parker hey, alone. Hey, come on. You need to to pay for my lunch. <laughs> Whoa! I'm going to hit you now. Hey, come on, friend. <sighs> <sighs> Whoa, I love that bracelet. Ah! <laughs> My oh. back bends. How cool is that? How could you? What's going on here? I'm going to do a flip. Wow. Do you guys want to be friends? Wow. Come on. I'm going to get him. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. I really like your bracelet. Can I get one? 
Hey, well, what are you kids doing? <laughs> Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, ho, ho. Peter. <sighs> what, no one? You hit my friend. No one's as aroused as I am? Oh, who are you? Right. I'm, I'm going I'm to head out now. I'm still looking. <laughs> I just watched all of these before, you know. Before. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So good. I, I had never seen the Andrew Garfield ones, and I, I finally had sat down. Oh, yeah, we watched yeah. Uh, the Andrew Garfield ones before. Yeah, all yeah. of them, yeah. actually, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. um, I hadn't seen them either. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. You know what? I'll give, I'll give you the next choice. What's an iconic, or just a movie that... I think the Titanic scene with Rose on the... In the oh, my God. On the, um, I know it's only two people, but it's... Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Um, She's on the door. There it is. Oh, oh, the door scene. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. And, and... And we don't pay for oh, that was good. Oh, we can end there. That was just really good. I think great acting across the board. Wow. Tens across uh, the board. That, that, that was amazing. Incredible. Um, well, I think it's a performance. Yes. Uh, no, that, that, was, that, was, books. that was for the books. Um, <laughs> with uh, that being said, my next uh, closing question out is... Yeah. Um, what advice would you give towards anyone who's looking to jump into voice acting? I'm so glad you asked. Mm. <laughs> um, well, in my own self-interest, take my class with Black Box <laughs> Acting. Uh, Black Box Acting is, is um, it's hosting my class. It's virtual, so you don't even have to go anywhere. You don't even have to have a mic. It's coming up. Mm-hmm. So I'll send the link so you can put yes. the link out. Absolutely. Yes. Or you can get in contact with me and coach privately. Mm. Um, I think the big thing with getting into voiceover is finding the right equipment, finding mm. the right coach. Those are like probably the two big things. And then the third thing is remembering not to take it so seriously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, for those of you wanting to get into it, there is so much free information online. I highly recommend doing your research first. Um, kind of getting an idea for for what kind of voiceover you want to do. Are you open to doing all sorts? You know, is this what is this a hobby? Is this what you want to do as your full time job? Like me, mm-hmm. you know, when I decided to make it my full time job, there was a really specific way I went around it, and part mm-hmm. of it was was getting coaching from from a professional like um, <clears throat> like my coach That's David out in LA, mm-hmm. who is also doing it full time. So. Another question I have, uh, how, how did you do it? How did you, how were you able to make this a full time thing? It is very hard, uh, for a lot of people who, um, uh, who artists in general, artists in general, you know, um, that are trying to make something full time. Uh, what was your process into being able to do this full time. So this is a question I get a lot. Mm -hmm. And the first thing I will say is we can talk all day long about I wanted it, I worked hard, I put money down, I did it, da, da, da. The reality is, is I also got lucky. Mm -hmm. Um, But I do believe there is an, um, you get lucky once, Mm -hmm. you get lucky once, and it's up to you to take that luck and and move it into your career. Mm. So for me, I was very lucky. My little like lucky break was that I booked a regional commercial like within the first week of trying it professionally. (laughs) Okay. So yeah, Yeah. which financed me being able to put some money down on a mic, you know, uh, that, Oh, this is my other thing. Listen, you don't have to use the microphone that I use, but do not spend a bunch of money on a mic. You, Mm. Those expensive mics, the Neumanns, the people are very, you know, they, everybody has a mic they prefer. But I will tell you this. If you are not in a professional booth, if you're not in a professional studio, you do not need that strength of a mic. It does, yeah. you do yourself such a disservice. Mm-hmm. Um, and even when you do a home build like myself, I built out. So, yeah, we'll get back. Sorry, that's my no, little tangent. Yeah, Rabbit no, trail. no, 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 yeah. My tangent. Mm-hmm. So what happened was, one, I have a really supportive partner. My husband mm-hmm. is my biggest fan. He really did believe that I could do it Mm. um the other thing that happened was I did I had
had the time because COVID happened. Mm-hmm. He was able to really sit down and, and do the research. And that mm-hmm. is part of it. There's privilege in that. And I recognize that. Mm-hmm. Um, the third thing was betting on myself. Mm-hmm. And again, yeah. I had this little bit of luck. My coach in LA, David, he takes, he takes clients once a year. He takes students once a year. Um, he's very expensive. He's, mm-hmm. he fancy. Mm-hmm. And I did not have that money at the time. Mm-hmm. I didn't. But I said to myself, I want, I want to do this and I'm going to figure out, I didn't even say to myself, I'm going to figure out how to make this back doing voiceover. I just said to myself, I will figure out how to make, make it back. Mm-hmm. Even if I have to get a loan from my parents, even if I have to go take a loan out, you know, mm-hmm. you know, whatever I have to do, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to get it back. I started with David and I will say, now I have an acting background, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm good at text work, I'm great at improv, and I do like the business side of, of things. Mm-hmm. I went whole hog. So mm-hmm. I built out my closet. Uh, I have a second closet that I built out into my home studio. I, mm-hmm. I put m- even more money down on some what we call pay-to-play sites, P2Ps, mm-hmm. uh, like Voice123. Uh, Voice Realm is the other one I tell uh, new newbies to go on because they do all your billing for you, which mm-hmm. is nice. Mm-hmm. And I started auditioning, and I literally auditioned. I, I still do audition almost every day. Mm-hmm. I get up, and that's what I do. Even before mm-hmm. I work on my other jobs, I get mm-hmm. up and I audition. And that is almost like my training every day. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then I was training with David. Mm-hmm. So I was training with him once a month. I was taking his courses online. I was auditioning every day. I mean, I went in. And I will say how I built my business is by doing it right the first time. And this is what kind of freaks people out. They don't want to mess up. I've had plenty of mess ups. Mm -hmm. But what I've learned is I am fast. I am consistent. Mm -hmm. And I am not a flake. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And so Mm -hmm. my clients come back because I am reliable. And that's how I built my business. It's not even that I have so many new clients, even though I'm auditioning all the time. Mm-hmm. It's that I have a lot of people who come yeah, back. You solidify. Mm-hmm. I have that, solidified clients. And I've also had people who say, oh, I'm going to pass your name. I'm going to pass your name along. Because yeah. mm-hmm. we know Bethany's going to answer our email that day. Mm-hmm. We are going to get the voiceover within a 24-hour turnaround if we need it. You know, that mm-hmm. this kind of thing. I'm also very communicative with my clients. Mm-hmm. This is... I made a decision to do voiceover full time and I basically ended up becoming a small business owner, which yeah. was not the intention. Mm-hmm. I was like, but how can I do this full time? Mm-hmm. I guess I'm starting my own business. I guess yeah. I'm BABO now. Mm-hmm. I guess this is what I'm doing. I'm invoicing for myself. I'm, yeah. Mm-hmm. And also, I got a really good accountant. Mm. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, just do that. No. <laughs> All those things. No. The first Everybody step, yeah, though, that's... the first step is doing the research and take an improv class. Yeah. I would say, like, if, if anything, <laughs> yeah. that's your mm-hmm. first step. And you don't even have to take a voiceover class first. Just take an improv class first and mm-hmm. do some research. Yeah. That's, what, that's literally what <laughs> no, I would say. That's... Your baby step. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah, I feel that's... like improv gets you out of your head and into your body. Mm-hmm. And it's good that... for everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. truly. It's good Absolutely. Like, what we just did was fucking nonsense. And nonsense. And didn't care. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. It's a good time. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and really, you know, that being said, of course, thank you so much again. You're welcome. For, so uh, for coming on the show. Stop. And, and uh, being here through all of the the nonsense that happens here. Oh, yeah. Here y'all don't even the, know. <laughs> y'all don't even know. Or some of you might. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how the edit looks. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, this was Beth. Mm-hmm. Well, it still is. <laughs> Bethany <laughs> Harrington Day. Thank you. Um, uh, yes. And uh, that being said, um, uh, social medias. We will be tagging everything, obviously, in the descriptions on YouTube as well as on our Twitch um uh for you guys uh on ig thanks. yeah thanks thanks y'all for tuning great. in if y'all you guys there, are awesome I can't see you but um no you there yes uh subscribe to our youtube channel um uh, that's where you'll be able to uh view all of our videos uh all of our hotspot interviews um obviously including this one um uh tune in on twitch uh, as well uh for that video as well uh merch um, we have it, yes. you know what I'm saying? So if you want to join the fire fam, if you're passionate, you know, uh, if you're passionate and you're sweaty like us, yeah. uh, <laughs> j- you know, join, 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 I'm the, getting that shirt. you know, join the <laughs> folks here. Um, uh, are there any, oh, last question. Yeah. Are there any projects, uh, that you would like to promote that, uh, are either coming up or, 
Uh, just anything that you would like to promote. So the other fun thing about voiceover is we sign a lot of NDAs. <laughs> <laughs> and so I am not allowed to talk about 90% of the stuff that I do until it's out. <laughs> and then once it's out, it's great. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, so, so when those projects come out, those projects, the out. Yeah. Um, I actually will probably be checking back in specifically with you guys in about a year. I have Ooh. a very large video game. I'm playing a non-playable Ooh. character in it. But Ooh. once that comes out, I think it would be really fun to circle back and maybe look at yeah. some of my games and stuff like that. Incredible. So that. That's, the, that's the big one, but I, I, we're, I think the release date is 2023, so we're, okay. we're waiting. Okay. The big thing is I'm absolutely promoting my class because it's if you guys couldn't tell, I really do love teaching this. I like mm-hmm. I like breaking things down and opening doors for people. So many people helped me out when I started. Um, and there's, there is, there's, I'm not going to lie to you, voiceover is complicated, there's a lot to learn, but it doesn't have to be scary. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm definitely promoting that, and I am also, I guess, uh, my, my own little baby project is that I am getting myself in front of the camera again, doing mm-hmm. monthly tips for people hiring voiceover class. Uh, talent. Mm-hmm. So these are tips for people who want to work with voiceover artists and have a more profitable um, and pleasurable mm. experience. Mm. <laughs> They're getting mm. the better voiceovers by knowing how to communicate mm. with us artists, yeah. right? It gets complicated. Super, yeah. Yeah. So that's seriously so. important. And yeah. that is So visit me, on IG, visit me on IG. So yes. that's near. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Do all the things. All the things. Do there all the will things. be all the links. Uh, and all the links, again, will be in the descriptions. Uh, uh, you know, that being said, thank you guys again so much for tuning in. Uh, if you like what you saw, make sure to like, share, subscribe, click the bell for notifications on all, all of YouTube our videos, things. do all the YouTube things, do all the Twitch things, do the love YouTube. each other, do stay the YouTube. healthy. Uh, <laughs> yes, do the YouTube. Do the YouTube. Do the YouTube. Um, uh, love each other. Yes. Uh, follow each other. Everybody yes. who's in the chat right now or in the future, follow each other. Give that level of support to one another. And um, we will see you all very soon, all right? Peace. Peace.